Hi, my name is Paul Eastwood and I'm going to talk to you on our last part of our uh, little lecture series here, this is part three, on how to lose fat, the real facts. I've been talking about actually what happens inside the body uh, for you uh, to use fat as a fuel source or what actually happens if you uh, get it wrong and you use fat uh, for storage instead. We're here on number four and I put here eat, okay? A lot of people are afraid to eat. Now you take real food in when you eat and you take something very solid with stored energy inside it and you break it down into chemical energy. That's what metabolize uh, means, it means break down. Okay? And I'm sure you've heard of digestion as well. So you know there's utilization and mobilization. Okay? Now these are all parts of the process of taking something solid and break it down into chemical energy. So eating is actually expensive. You know? It's time to, for people to realize that food, eating food is, a, is, a, is also um, a stress and it's also uh, a process that requires quite a lot of internal organs and quite a lot of time as well. So your internal sort of engine, if you like, um, is working quite hard when you eat food. Um, the goal though, okay, and this is going to go against what you've been hearing lately, is every three to four hours. Anybody that's eating one to two is either training twice a day every day or it's just media hype because people are um, the media is trying to get you to really stay on the same diet that they've been giving you for the last kind of uh, five to ten years or so and because it's not working they're just trying to get you to eat less more often so uh, you know, go ahead and try that see how you do but um, the real goal is three to four hours and uh, four hours would be would be brilliant because if you're actually, when you're taking food and it actually gives you what you need, then one of those things that you uh, can do is you can actually use fat as a fuel source because you'll have the right nutrients to fire that system, but you'll also have the right food in you that's uh, slowly breaking down and breaking down correctly with very little stress. So um, all my clients and patients go for four hours, I'll try and get them right up there, um, because I've metabolically typed them and they've actually got the right nutrients that they need to use fat as a fuel source. So they don't get uh, really strong cravings or real uh, sudden desires to eat unless it's been a very long time because they're actually using fat as a fuel source whilst they're breaking down their food. And that's the goal. That's training smart. or oh, sorry, eating smart. Okay? Um, eating properly will always give you this benefit. Uh, and you can only do that if you know what your metabolic type is and you know what nutrients you should be taking in. It also means that when you've had a metabolic type done that you also take in less because you don't uh, just keep eating and eating and eating and fill the stomach and then you feel full because of the, of the mechanical receptors in the stomach lining which detect uh, food content. Okay, You're actually eating uh, because you're body has what it needs and as it starts to break it down the mouth and some in the stomach and then some in the intestines as you start to release the right chemicals into the body okay the right nutrients then you switch up it switches off your at your appetite that way okay which lasts a lot longer rather than just slowly f uh, emptying the stomach and then you get hungry again okay because if that's what you're getting then I guarantee you you're not eating properly for your type and you're definitely not looking as good as you should because uh, you're body as soon as it realizes that there's room left in the stomach it's asking you to eat again because you don't have what you need it's trying to get you to eat again to get more nutrients into your body and unfortunately that's how people eat a lot and they're not really eating that bad it's low calorie low GI low whatever um, and unfortunately because it's just m more calories they're just storing it okay and there's this always this desire to eat a lot because it's not what they need okay so do eat um, obviously eat the right food um, and it does cost you a lot of energy and when it works very well there's no storage at all it's all fat burning okay number five fat let's, let's really give you the facts on fat fat is purely a storage device okay and it is a safety mechanism as well your liver is only as big as your hand and it's pretty thin okay and uh, this is my hand your hand might be smaller than mine and uh, when this, when the liver is overloaded, and it's very easy to overload the liver, um, it, you use fat as a temporary storage device. Okay, I mean the body's pretty clever; it knows what to do. It uses fat temporarily, but if you keep overloading the liver and keep bringing toxic foods in or toxins that the body considers are, are poisonous, then your liver never gets a break. 
and it keeps putting things in fat storage and it keeps thinking I'll grab that uh, toxin or that food or that energy from fat later but uh, right now I've got all these other jobs to do this I've got to break down some of these other, che other chemicals that are coming in and I've got some other uh, processes to do when I get a, t a time out I'm going to go over there and do that okay and unfortunately if you keep getting your food wrong because you haven't had your metabolic type done then you keep bringing in food that you're your liver will keep storing, okay? So, you know, it's, it's essential that it's more about the nutrients and the quality of the food, okay? Not the quantity. People are always thinking about calories in versus calories out. That's such a, a simplistic and really naive way to look at the body. If it was all about calories in, calories out, you probably have one organ and you just have a stomach uh, and, that, and that's it, okay? You just eat and you'd know exactly how much it took to fuel your body that day. We would have worked that out by now, okay? And the fact that it's not, and there are quite a few internal organs, and there's quite a few pro uh, hundred processes that go on in the body, which is why it's so complicated. And also the fact that everyone is so different, and they need different different uh, rates of nutrients to actually get their bodies to work, because they are slightly different to you, okay? So that concludes our lecture today. Um, please uh, go to the website companies.2 forward slash metabolic typing assessment to see this video and the other two that accompany this lecture series. Thank you.